Hello guys, my name is Diana and welcome back to my channel. You know what we're about to do today? We are going to my city, London. Yes, we're going to look at a 28.5 million pound house in London. So who's ready? Let's go and see what this money can get you in my city. Welcome to Ellsworthy Road. I'm Michael Salkin, a director of Aston Chase. This is an exceptional house, 10,000 square feet, arranged over four floors, completely detached with a carriage driveway. The beautiful thing about this house is you can walk within minutes to Primrose Hill Park. It's also within walking distance of Primrose Hill Village and St John's Wood. So already we're talking location, location, location. Who is to watch that show? Yes, prime location, so it's going to be very, very... Yes, yeah, so that's a detached house, guys, in London. You'd be lucky to get a detached house in London. <laughs> so that is a detached house. So, yeah, your neighbour, literally, this is the border between you and your neighbour. <laughs> but at least it's still detached. Let's see. This is one of the principal receptions at Ellsworthy Road. Um, as you can see, there's a very large patio with the gates leading onto the communal gardens, just over two and a half acres. A very popular location directly opposite Primrose Hill. Communal gardens? I didn't pay 28.5 million pounds to have a communal garden. I don't wanna have to share a garden with anybody, <laughs> okay? But, um, that lounge, I feel like it needs a little bit of love. There's no love in there right now, but this is London, but so I'm loving the space. The space is given me is absolutely great. Thank you very much. Let's go. Various other entertaining areas, which we'll see in a moment, but this, this is really the principal room that has a gas um, fireplace. The house is also air conditioned throughout and offers exceptionally well-planned accommodation, as you'll see. I'm seeing a lot of these uh, tables and chairs. What is the purpose for these rooms? I feel like there's no purpose. Sorry, my nose is itchy. Oh, that was good. Yeah, there's no purpose for these extra, what is, okay, let me let him explain. I hope he's gonna explain what these rooms are. But um, yeah, I, would, I say knock down everything and make everything one. He needs to explain what those rooms are because that looks really pointless to me. We're now in the kitchen stroke family room, which is an exceptionally good sized room with high ceilings and exceptional lights. The kitchen is extremely well equipped with sub zeros, wine coolers. You have a wolf gas hob. I love the uh, light that is pouring into this kitchen. It's absolutely beautiful. And I think having a dark colored cabinet is very in right now. I do love it. And then the rest of the walls are white. So you have the dark cabinet as a, uh, the main feature and then the rest of the walls are white. I absolutely love that. I'm not too sure, cause I'm not used to it, um, about the, the, the black uh, window frames. 
um like i said i'm not used to it i've never really seen that before but i guess it complements the dark um cabinets really well um the only thing i'm not fond of is the choice of um i don't even know is it a pattern or a pebble patterned um dining room chairs it really just reminds me of a high chair like a like a little baby's high chair i don't know why um i feel like a different style of chair could have gone there but that's the only thing i would say but i do love this kitchen it's so spacious let's keep going <laughs> And through here, you have the dining area, which overlooks the atrium and onto the patio garden, which has direct access to the communal gardens. Through here is actually a serving kitchen, which is ideal if you're, if you're entertaining, you know, staff or housekeeper can prepare the cooking and deliver it straight to the dining room. A lot of people don't like their uh, chefs or um serve i don't know what they call them servants uh what do you call them cooks it's like they don't want their cooks to be seen i want to show you no i want to show you that i've hired a cook okay if i don't if i wanted to pretend to cook i'd i'd do that i don't even know what i'm trying to say <laughs> what i'm trying to say is you've got a chef let him use your real kitchen. What's the problem? Yeah, let him use a real kitchen. But I can understand maybe because of like noise. Okay, I'm understanding. Maybe because like clink, clank, clink, 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 all that noise. Um, they may want to be tucked in, away in there. And it might actually get too busy if they are cooking, I guess. Um, listen, this is a rich lifestyle. I'm not used to it. I'm just trying to like, I'm just trying to like judge what I would do. But, um, yeah, they always seem to be always tucked away and there's always like two kitchens. But why do we need two kitchens? But I can understand like, you know, they make my, they might make, it might be too much commotion, you know, you don't want to trip over, blah, blah, blah. It, uh, it's too much. Uh, let's continue, let's continue. Without disturbing anybody in the main kitchen. One of the unique features of this house is that it has a passenger lift, so I'll see you upstairs. In L-O-N-D-O-N, yes, lift. I love that it's got a lift. Um, I wonder how many floors it has um, for it to have a lift, but that's fantastic. <laughs> vom 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 change that wall what is going on i don't even like the tiles either i mean this is probably opulent for some people but mm -mm. no 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 the only thing i like is the floor that's about it but i don't like all that green wall situation <laughs> We're now in the principal bedroom suite, which has great views over the communal gardens. And what's nice about this is you come through and you've got this fantastic dressing area with his and hers bathrooms. Yes, 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 yes. That is, yes, I love that closet space. Bathroom is beautiful. I love, Mwah. yes. That I like, not that green stuff downstairs. That, that's brilliant. That is such a cute, cute closet. Ugh. It looks like an entryway to the bathroom, but it's just so, it's the mirrored doors. Ugh. Ugh. Ooh, beautiful.
This is an example of one of the other bedrooms. What's nice about this house is that at the front of the house, you have bay windows, which allow a lot of light to come in. We then come through to the dressing area, which is great. And I love this bathroom. Okay. That second bedroom as well, um, different design taste. Um, but the bathroom is consistent with the other one. Love the bathroom, love the bathroom. Um, but yeah, this has given me a lot of space for London and I am loving it. I am absolutely loving it. Um, you, won't, you won't get more space than this, to be honest with you. It's, it's brilliant. <laughs> the UK try to make space wherever they, they can so we always have a loft conversion this is a loft conversion and I'm assuming they've made two bedrooms um, out of this space um, but yeah they try to squeeze in any space that they can and they, they've really done it here but this is somebody would appreciate this here in London <laughs> We're now coming to one of my favourite parts of the house, the ledger area. Let's go and check it out. There's a great bar which is fully equipped with a seating area. There's also a wine cellar that is thermostatically controlled. The cinema is very cosy. I love green, but I don't know if I like that much green, because this is giving me Emerald City Wizard of Oz. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, yeah. Oz, Wizard of Oz, Emerald City, yes, Dorothy and all that jazz, Scarecrow, everybody. Yeah, yeah. This is what, is, this is, this is giving me Emerald City. That's too much. That is absolutely too much. I think switch this out with a few other different colors and it'll be absolutely cute i love the shape of the couch but the green on green on green oh my god that's too much but do you do you <laughs> the sound in here is amazing adjacent to the cinema is this great snooker room which has direct access onto the patio for anyone that doesn't know what snooker is it's basically pool <laughs> americans will say pool table um, but yeah we call it snooker yeah. with lots of natural lights and a surround sound system we're now in the treatment room which is a really good size and you have you can have massages here, you can obviously do your hairdressing, there's a wash hand basin, a seat, and it's air conditioned, and overlooking the atrium. That is really great. They've been able to squeeze in so many different facilities. Um, there was the gym, the pool, the cinema room, um, the, now the spa. That is telling me that it, there's so much space in this wonderful house, but, the price is, is hurting my soul. Yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you need any further assistance at Aston Chase. Thank you. He's so sweet. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> 28.5 million is this is what 28.5 million gets you in london <laughs> um what is my favorite part of the house what is my favorite part of the house what is my favorite part of the house is it bad that i don't remember a lot of it oh yes the kitchen would be my favorite part of the house um 
I feel like with the bedrooms, they might need to like switch out a few of the um, design aspects of it, um, like the drapes and the um, choice of linen and the choice of um, bedding and everything else like that. So I'm just gonna straight up say the kitchen, the amount of light, oh God, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but light and then the dark wood on the cabinets and then the white walls and then the seating area where you can look out to the patio or the garden um, and then the the kitchen in the in the center i love it absolutely love it um that would be my favorite part would i buy this house um it's a nice house but i'm not going to spend 28.5 million pounds when i could probably buy a whole street somewhere else no way no 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 no. i wouldn't it's very cute it's nice to be able to live in london but um no 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 no. because of that like 28.5 is really really hurting it's really hurting me so i would say no this time round. but <laughs> let's see i want to know what other people think about this house let's see what other people think Let's go, let's go. Imagine spending 30 million on a house to have neighbors. Obviously they rounded it up, but this is London. You're definitely gonna have a neighbor, whether you like it or not. <laughs> yeah, no, mm -mm. So, um, the attention to detail was stunning. However, I'd rather spend 28 million on four, seven million properties around the world. Um, yeah, 28 million. It's hurting me to be able to spend that only on one property in London, whereas I can own multiple properties around the UK for that amount. So, mm -mm, no. Um, for 28 million, I would expect my own garden. That's what I thought as well. Like, <laughs> it's like you guys have all this space to create gyms and all that stuff, but I don't have my own garden. I have to share with other people. But obviously it's nice that you can share with people that are making around the same money as you, or more or less, um, but I don't have my own garden, no. Mm -mm. Um, 30 million and no pool, goodbye. You're not gonna get a pool. I, is there pools in London? Oh, come on, it's very rare, very rare. Very, that's like asking for a pool in New York City. No, you're not gonna get that. It looks like an American home, not my taste. I think a lot of us are migrating. To, I'd actually, what is an American style? I don't know. What is an American style? Um, I think a lot of people like, like very old Victorian style decor, but um, I think we're moving away from that a little bit. So sorry girl or guy. Beautiful house, but it's been for sale for at least a year. I walk past it all the time. Very lovely, but I think they need to accept it's not worth that much. <laughs> She's so cheeky. <laughs> Do not put the people's business out there. Excuse me, ma'am. You're in my business. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Who's buying a 28 million pound house? Um, well, first of all, you need to make that, that amount of money, but yeah that is a lot of money um but hey whoever has the money could buy it but i would not invest for 28 million i'm gonna do one more and call it quits it's the address you're buying because the house is never worth 28 million yes this is the whole point why they say new york new york is expensive paris is expensive london is expensive you are paying for the location nothing more nothing less Houses value go up based on the location. The more the years go by, the more even the surrounding areas around London is becoming more and more expensive. That's just how it is, honestly. But yeah, we're just praying that we're able to actually purchase one of these and, you know, be on a property ladder. But that is all for today. Hope you guys enjoy that uh, London home. And I will see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.